everyone thank you for being with me for this new video so this video is not going to be a tutorial what's happening is that I've decided last week about 15 days ago maybe less than that well anyway I've decided to make my brother's wedding cake um, I didn't want to do it at first and uh, I spoke a lot with uh, my sister-in-law and she was telling me a few things she was telling me about uh, about the bakery that she didn't find she was complaining about not finding the right things she knows i do cakes and i i think she wanted me to offer but because this is such a big deal for me not because i don't feel capable of doing it but because uh you might not know but i, I suffer from sickle cell disease which um really is tough on me physically so a wedding cake, making a wedding cake, having a, um, a deadline, having to make it by that time and like to serve something right at a certain time can be very difficult for me. Um, so I didn't want to do it. And then I thought, well, my brother is getting married. I cannot not make his, his cake. I can't do that. So I said to her, I said, okay, I'll do your cake. And uh, I decided to share the whole journey with you. I will not make a tutorial as such because that will hold me back. When I film a video for you guys, it takes me at least double the amount of time that I will usually take because I need to put, I do everything by myself and I use only my mobile phone to do that. So and I change the angle in which I film everything and it takes me and sometimes I redo things, so it takes me a lot of time. I have to be done by Saturday. Today is Monday, so I will not make a tutorial as such because I will. What I will do is maybe upload one video a day until Saturday and just show you what I've done without and without editing. Basically, this is how you will get the video. What I want to do is give you information and show you how I'm doing things like. It's gonna be it's not gonna be me teaching you anything It's gonna be you with me to see how I do it and hopefully that can be helpful for someone and I have here All the supplies I bought today. So this is not um, It's it's not the ingredients It's what I need for the cake. I think I cannot go without that if you already have it then that's fine I have a lot of things but this I didn't have so I thought I'll show you and maybe if I'm able to because it's evening right now and I'm if you can tell I'm absolutely exhausted I will see if I can get started or if I leave it for tomorrow so first of all the cake board I took one big enough this actually it's not even that big because this is the actual cake yeah, we're starting off very well because this will be the cake. Bear in mind that I will have the fondant and everything. <sighs> Should be okay. But I don't have a lot of spare space, which is not great. But I can deal with that. So this is the cake board, which is nothing fancy, but we can actually decorate the board. So that doesn't worry me too much. And I had um, a tin which was slightly smaller than, sorry, <laughs> was small, slightly smaller than that. But I find that when you have a wedding cake and that the gap here is too small, I don't find it pretty at all. And what I did is I measured with something that was not big enough for that, that was not leaving a big enough of a gap for that. And I took the wrong one, but yet again, I need a big cake. So I thought it's not wasted, it's okay, I will keep that. So I have the, the other two because it will be like two storage. This is 35.6 millimeters, 365 millimeters, you can't see. And then I will have the other two. You see what I mean? That's what I meant. Like by it being, the gap being too small. I see that that, I don't know if I'm allowed to show that. Never mind, you've seen it already. But I found that this is ugly. I like it when it's really thick and uh, a lot larger. And so for the cake, because I have seen, I'm in a few groups uh, where ladies do, they, they are home bakers. And there was, there was a lady the other day that she explained that she did put the sleeves in between the cakes, but she didn't put the dowels. 
And so the cake collapsed because it was obviously from the top down, it was way too heavy. So it collapsed. And I would have used wooden dowels or just straws or something normal, but I thought, okay, I want things to be done right. I can do without that. And that was a bit more expensive, but I, I, I want everything to be perfect. I want everything to be fine. I don't want to be, well, anything going wrong. So I took this. Wilton is a brand that I really like. They do things that are not too fancy, that can be good for professionals or can be good for home bakers. I live in France and in France, Wilton is not widely spread, but if you are in the US, for instance, Wilton, you can find like very cheap everywhere. So uh, I took this and as you can see, the way it goes, so this piece here will be only the side parts here. That's what it is. The center part, you don't have. They said it here, but I thought, hmm, well, let's put it right. <laughs> I thought maybe this is too short. So I took two. Can you imagine already the price of that stuff? <sighs> so I took the sleeves, which fit perfectly the cake without leaving a gap. So there will be the cake and that sitting on, well, the cake sitting on top of that and no gap at all because the measurements are good. I usually like a gap on my cakes, but not for the wedding cake because it will be covered with fondant and the, the sleeve will be completely covered. For the design that my sister-in-law chose, I want it to be padded. So I took that one. I have something. Maybe I didn't actually need to buy that one, but I did. Yeah, that one is better than the one I have. Sorry, I'm thinking I'm so slow because I'm tired. I'm so sorry. And um, I took some of that sugar pearls because I will put pearls in between. Like this will be the final design. I have it all in my head and uh, I know how it will be when it will be finished and not already. And I draw. I draw the cake on my uh, my little, my, my big book actually, it's not little, on my big book, that's why I do. I, 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 first of all, I draw my cakes and then only I do them, but I, like what matters most, because this is for me to remember after, beforehand, it's in my head. When I'm done with the cake, I forgot, I forget all about it. That's why I put it in my book. Anyway, so that's what I want. I didn't even check that it's big enough. Uh, maybe it's not, but this is what I will put in the middle eventually, maybe for one or two. I don't know, I'm not sure. And she wants um, lace in the middle cake. So I don't want to use like here. I didn't buy that. And I was wondering which one to choose for uh, what my sister is having. You see the price is about 16 euros, about $15, which is really expensive. This is Favonid, which is really, these don't take them cheap, buy the good brands, because I think that it's really important to have very good material. So these are really, really pretty. I'm not sure I've used that one, which is really basic. Can you see? No, you can't. <laughs> and there is this one, which I think it's too large. It's really, I think the cake might be slightly bigger than that. And so I will go for that one. I just received a phone call. I need to tell people to not call me. And so I like the shape of that. We'll see the cake. It's going to be so pretty. So because I, I have that and she wanted lace, I bought this, which is edible lace. And uh, that's what I might start today. So it's it's like a... <sighs> I haven't checked it yet. Seems to be ready already. It's funny, ready already. Oh, look! I'm so tired when I'm, I mess everything up when I'm too tired so I, when it's like that I just go to bed and do the following day and then after the last thing I think I, I bought and just for like the structure of the cake is that I have a lot of those like there's one here there's one here I have a lot of those but that big because my you see this my work top here is my like the cooker is here here have the sink and then 
uh, my work top is all the way there, but I was uh, I was worried that it was not going to be big enough. So what I did is that I put this big. But I hope that will make my, my life easier. The cake will come all the way down here and I will have that much of a gap. But I think that it will be anyway too small. I will have to make it bigger unless I make it thicker like that. In that case, I will make it slide down, slide, slow. I bought this fondant, I bought, bear with me. Look, for the fondant I bought, I don't like this brand, but look at that. Oh my God. This is fondant. My arms are killing me already. If it's good, I will tell you the brand, but I don't like it. And I didn't like the other one from like that brand. I don't really like, I don't like what they do. They give a lot of choice, but, and the problem is that I don't have many options here in France because cake decorating is not that big. So I uh, have to go with what I find in the store. And so there you go, that's it. So this is the first part of that wedding cake thing. This morning, I went with my sister-in-law to buy the ingredients. I'm, I'm, I'm knackered, I'm exhausted. I'm so tired and my arms are hurting. But this is still really exciting. This is my first real wedding cake. When I started cake decorating, I was making them on dummies. I was making fake ones. But here, this is the big, like the real deal. And it was someone that I love so much, so, I will give my best and, and uh, do everything I can for it to come like it's here. Like the way I have it here, I will make sure to have it standing there. So come on it with me if you're interested to see and uh, I will try to give you as many advice as possible. So I'm done for today. I'm not going to stop doing that because it's not reasonable. It's not a good thing to do. I need to go to bed and um, it's not that late. It's, it's 8.36. It's 8.30 p.m. Oh my god, I'm worse than a child. But um, that's how it is. I'm just really, really tired, but really excited at the same time. So that's it for today. Thank you again for being here. Don't forget to subscribe. That would be so nice of you. And I see you tomorrow. Bye.